Hey guys, we're clearly starting with no makeup today. It's currently October, so I've been doing a bunch of Halloween looks over on Instagram, and I thought today I would do a little like vlog, get ready with me, and show you how I do one of my Halloween looks. And just like catch you up on what's going on in life and just like chat. So yeah, if you just wanna hang out and do some Halloween makeup, then keep watching. Okay, so I just washed my face, and now I'm gonna use the Grown Alchemist Matte Balancing Moisturizer. So I wanna talk about this at the beginning of the video because, um, Okay, here's how I feel. I feel like social media isn't really fair for the people putting it out or the people seeing it if you're not completely like transparent with your life. Not completely, I mean everybody needs some like, you know, privacy. But I just think it's really important to talk about the bad times if you're also highlighting the good times. That's like what life is. And we all experience these things obviously in our own way, but I feel like talking about it can like help make it better. So if you follow me on my Instagram, you might have seen yesterday, I said that we had to say goodbye to my best friend Indica. She's my cat of the last four years. Um, she truly like was by my side for everything. It was such a hard decision to make and I've been crying so much. So like this week and and the looks honestly all got pushed back and everything just came to a stop because I was like I'm hanging out with this cat for as long as I can so if my energy seems like a little down at all I've just been like going through it a little bit with that I'm really grateful for makeup to give me something to like take my mind off of it that being said let's put on these horns I ordered these from a shop on Etsy um, Jania Hellman this isn't sponsored, but they look like really great prosthetics. I forgot my face is so puffy and I'm filming this. It's because I've been crying. That's life. I'm sorry, you guys. My face is puffy right now. All right, so I got some spirit gum and I'm going to put it on the back. I wonder if I should put it on both my head. Yep. So it says press down firmly and then go from the center to the outside to like get rid of any bubbles. Okay, okay. I have a horn. Am I the only one that gets like TikTok audios playing in their head? I could really put so many horny jokes in right here. Okay, so it actually says to use 100% acetone to melt the edges. I thought it was alcohol. So I was over here trying alcohol and I wasn't doing anything. So now I have acetone. The lesson I just learned, if you're doing prosthetics, use more glue than you think. You can always take the glue off. But I think the edges look more seamless if it's like very glued down and then remove any extra glue. It's just been the weirdest time. I mean, I know 2020 is the weirdest year for literally everybody. I think we're all just going through a lot. Like it's like, COVID and the election and 10 million other things and then it seems like everybody has personal things going on too. I mean with that there's always good things, there's silver linings, but I don't know. Also by the way sorry about my jank setup. This is what I used to take photos and for Instagram it worked. I'm really gonna have to figure out something else. I really love like Bailey Sarian's really cute backdrop so maybe eventually I'll make like a little set for myself. Anyway, I just got this today. I'm super excited about it. So we're gonna be using the Mayron 30 color palette, but I have never tried them before ever. And we're about to try them on camera. So hopefully it goes well. All right, I've heard when you're working with water activated, it helps to do X's. My gosh, look how much that's covering. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And look at that, boom, boom, boom. I think the X's honestly is helpful because it doesn't like wipe away past product. Oh my gosh, what if you should do your eyeshadow first? <laughs> it's too late. If you're doing any kind of creative makeup where you're like a whole nother color, I really suggest pulling it into your hairline. You can't tell me that Halloween isn't fun. You cannot look me in the eyes right now and tell me Halloween's not a good time. Kind of surprised how much I've used of this one paint. Oh, also let me put my inspirations for this look right here, um, I have several people I was inspired by. There's lots of people that have done looks like this. I'm honestly not sure who started this kind of trend of this like aesthetic, but going for the fantasy color devil. I don't know why on my face I was like, oh, crosses, let me, you know, that's how you get it good. And then on my chest, I like all logic went out the window. So I'm just painting my horns baby blue because I'm an innocent little devil. Okay, I'm really nervous because I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna need to paint my hands at the end of this. We're gonna put Morphe white concealer underneath my eyes. Use code GLAMFAM581 for $5 off Morphe. Okay, do your prayers. 
meditate, whatever. That kind of worked. Like not completely, but also not not completely. This is the most like non-makeup tutorial I've ever done. I really, this is all experimenting. Since I should probably tell you what I'm doing, I'm highlighting what should be the high points on my face. What I want to stand out more. Um, if you don't like your chin, don't highlight your chin. I have a really round face, so I want it to be like, Yo, here's my chin. So I think I'm gonna set it now. I don't know about you, but this is where I get oily. So I might look crazy for a second putting this powder on, but it'll all be okay. I'm definitely just doing this like as if it were beauty makeup, but blue. Okay, I'm gonna use the shade Cola. It's a navy blue, pretty much. I went and did my eyebrows because they're really hard to do on camera. I'm really skeptical at this point, and this is usually how my looks go. I'm usually very skeptical the whole time. This time it is, like, partially because I'm using a new product. Then I'm going to try to use the same Lagoon Blue Paradise paint to, like, cut a crease, kind of. That makes such a big difference in how your eyes look. It's crazy. I'm using C1 from the Norvina palette, which, oh my gosh, I need another one of. I don't know what I'm going to do when that's all gone. Like, do you see how white this stuff is? So I'm doing like a soft cut crease kind of. Again, I'm just putting more white here. So I'm just gonna deepen this up out here. And then I'm gonna add like a smoky black line. I tilted my eyebrows up. I don't know if you can see, but like in the middle, they kind of come like this. So it looks like I'm worried more maybe. And then I made some hot glue tears. I'm just gonna use one, I think. And I'm gonna cover it in Makeup A Murderer Blue Diamond. It's like a blue shimmer. It's gorgeous. And anything from Makeup A Murder, which is like one of my favorite makeup companies these days, can use code Ellen for 10% off, I believe. So I just like dunked my finger in this blue diamond stuff and I'm literally just going on it like this. For some reason, the hot glue grabs like whatever pigment or shimmer you want to put on it. So you can make these hot glue tears really fun. So I just put that on there with a little spirit gum and then I'm going to use Stay Golden Lipstick in Jamrock. Any black lipstick really. I like liquid lipsticks just because they don't smear. Then I'm going to use the Glitter Mousse Liner in Woe to put some little like highlight points on my lips, maybe a few on the horns. Honestly, I'm gonna come back when I have the wig on. We can paint my hand and then that's it. So this is with the wig. Ideally, I really wanted like a long black wig for this, but this is just what I have for right now. So we're doing it. I guess she's cute. I don't know how to feel about it. Honestly, sometimes I finish my looks and I still don't like them and I take pictures of them and then maybe wait a day or two and then maybe I'll like it. I really wish I had blue like up here in my hairline, but I'm just not willing to put blue in this wig because I wear it all the time. I just watched the newest Patrick Star video where he turns himself into Ursula with the paradise paint. I feel like it's one of those things that's like once you see it, you're like, oh my gosh, everybody's been using this. I never know what to do with my nails when I'm like painting my hand. This body paint really lets you know where any imperfection is on your skin. It's like, oh hey, right there. I don't know why, but it's really fun being a different color. This is the finished look. Please let me know what you guys think. And definitely, if you have any requests on looks that you want to see please let me know but I just want to remind you guys that you are all super strong and if there's anything that you're going through right now I'm really sorry and I know that you can get through it and I urge you to like look for any outlet for creative expression thank you for supporting my art check me out on Instagram also check out glitter moose cosmetics for everything glitter neon pastel UV liners all lots of fun stuff thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time bye